Hello, it's Jennifer Savari, and today I'll be sharing how I made this window card that has a little bee on the inside. And I used the Poppy Stamps Hexagon Layer Border Set. And this set layers to create some dimension. The stamps and dies used for today's card were the Little Kindness Stamp and Die Set by Poppy Stamps, the Big and Little Hexagon Border Layer, and the Studio Hexagon Layers by Memory Box. Since I'm going to be using some really warm colors, I also used a very rich ivory base for the card. And the base for the hexagon layers was a strip of paper that I put some worn lipstick and squeezed lemonade and some wild honey and just kind of blended those with distress inks. Adding the strips was really easy because I cut them to be the same size as my card base, which was five and a half inches wide. And so I just simply die cut the edge of the strip and wasn't too concerned with how tall it was, just the width there. And then colored it with weathered wood and that just gave kind of a nice grayish blue um, color. And then I glued that on top and just set it aside for now. Next I started off with a gold piece that was four and a quarter by five and a half inches wide. And use, using the large hexagon layers, I just went along the bottom like I did on the middle layer. And you can see I just kind of centered it on each of those die cuts so that they would line up. And then I used an embossing folder that had some little bees on it and just ran that through to give a little bit of dimension there. Next I used the Studio Hexagon layer, um, layers and these are nestable and so there are a lot of different sizes in this set. So using two different sizes created frames. Then I used the smaller of the frame size and created the window for the card and I just centered it and die cut it and that created the hexagon. To create the hexagon that would actually make the window in the base, I just simply traced it for positioning of where to put the die. Next it was time to stamp the inside of the card, so I folded it back and ran the little uh, bee trail through the misty. And I'm using the platinum embossing powder and it just gave a really nice uh, shine. It wasn't silver and it wasn't gold. It's just a beautiful embossing powder. So at this point, I had the bee trail and the hexagon cut out of the card base, and it was time to attach the base layers. I did need to cut it down. I just cut it down by hand with scissors and then glued it on. And I actually did put it under just a little bit of weight to dry for just a couple minutes. Now notice here that I glued the bottom hexagon layer and used my tape runner for the top. I didn't want any warping, and sometimes glue will warp it over large surfaces. So I used both and then I just went ahead and layered that over the top. And whenever I make cards, I usually have little weights that I put on them just for a couple minutes at a time after I'm done gluing, just so it stays nice and flat during the process. Next, I glued two of the hexagon layers together to create some extra dimension there. I stamped and die cut the B using the Little Kindness stamp set and then I just colored it in. This is actually an ink tense pencil and then I went over it with a wink of Stella and I also went over the hexagon frame um, with wink of Stella before I attached it. Once the wink of Stella was dry, I went ahead and glued everything on and glued the little bee um, on. I thought about raising it up with a little bit uh, like a pop dot underneath, but I glued it flat and then the wink of Stella was also used to give a little bit of shimmer to the hexagon layers there. And I really love how this card turned out. I didn't put a sentiment in there because it could just be used for so many different things. And if I want a sentiment, I can add one later. Using a little bit of wild honey, I ran it along the top just to hide that white that was showing through from the base of the card. And I didn't want that to be seen and that hid it perfectly. I just love these border layers and they're so much fun with all the different colors that can be used. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon.